I'm coming in hot. Have you just seen the new Chetak design? Which looks similar to a scooter. So, I decided I wanted to make my own Chetak by restoring the old Chetak and giving it an electric effect. So, here the journey begins for searching of an old Chetak body where I was searching for almost like almost like 15 kilometers in my range to find a decent body where I couldn't find a decent one yet because everyone was charging high enough or the body which I find are more, mostly decayed or way badly rusted. So here the journey and the hunt was begin and it was continued. And one day finally, I found a body near to my house. So I, we, this is how we went to that place. And here you can see the Chetak in three, two, one. And here you go. So this is how it looks currently. It was in scrap for almost like two or three years. And it's been at that place for same for so long. So I think we should start making our electric chetak with this one. So this is the current position of it, how we found it. Next up, we had to take out the engine because I promised the mechanic that I just need the body. I didn't need the engine. So he can use the engine parts for other, uh, other builds which he had in client or other stuff. He can use it for parts. So we decided to remove the engine. And we were trying, that's, uh, by the way, actually, that's Yogesh who is helping me out in the white shirt. So we both were trying to remove the engine, we couldn't. So finally, we took the help of other mechanic and uncle came up for our help and he removed it very easily with the help of a machine and we separated the engine easily. So finally the engine was out and the body was ready to ship and you may be wondering what's going on here on a rickshaw. So we actually tried to find a decent auto or a tra uh, auto trolley for our transport but we couldn't and finally we found a rickshaw so we thought why not use a rickshaw because it's gonna be an iconic build, why not an iconic transport to do. So we had to tow it with my bullet, to me sitting on a bullet I had to tow it. You could see I could easily lose my leg or we could meet with an accident very easily. But still, I tried really hard to tow it and this is how it went. So finally we came into my lane but all the cars were parked on the road so it was hard for me to tow this and I was about to meet with an accident but luckily see right over here I just got lucky that I slipped from there or else I would have easily fallen down and we still tow it and bought it to my house. Now me and Yogesh we both lifted the Chetak and we took it out of a rickshaw as you can see over here the Chetak wasn't that heavy it was with a decent weight I could say you not that heavy so here we, we kept the chetak and my brother helped us to put up the stand and we, we kept all of the chetak body down over here and all the parts of it So this is the current status how it looks right now all completely rusted everywhere all dirt and dust collected for over many years sitting it over there so we had to remove almost all the parts then we will go up to the cleaning process and there was rust which I could see possibly and I had to remove all of that too so now we started removing it with the tools which we had actually I had very limited amount of tools to be honest 
and with those tools only me and yogesh we removed it like we we did what all we could do with all the desi jugad also you can say to try the try to remove how much parts we can and this is how it went doesn't look good because it's a rust over here and this is rusted this is rusted and main this is rusted and this is a hole there we go there the boy doesn't look in good condition say hi to yogesh he's trying to remove these pieces so that we unload the front part now i'm going to try and remove the suspension i guess so I'll try. Yeah, or else we'll see. Okay. update again jitna ho sake utna we are trying to open yogesh is trying to remove this box and this is doing dump and we try to open all of these small small things are coming out slowly we oil it over here we oil it we oil for this one we are no next is to remove this one and here yeah, we oil inside you can see that oh, we could remove how much ever we can these are all the parts what all we removed it's looking like this currently okay the sides are removed now handle should go off and the bumper should go then the body is stripped now we are going to wash because we don't have the panels so we don't have to remove those so we have to wash it right now then then we'll see okay so this is how it looks right now after the wash it is completely clean as you guys can see i have washed it neatly you can see there is a rust over there here a bit of rust and when you go to the bottom let me turn on the flash okay you can see this hole is okay but this hole 
we need to fill this hole we need to fill this hole this part may come off too so we need to fill this gap next is here this part okay and the outer body needs some work okay it needs work and as i showed you before need to fix this portion and now i am removing sorry that was oil i am trying to remove this i just remove the bolt okay i am trying to remove this part so that i can slowly remove the hand i mean next step i am slowly going up so let's see okay